I'm shaking. I don't know why. I'm not cold. I didn't have any caffeine. Maybe I'm kind of cold. Hey guys, welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. We got a feet video coming right at you here. This is not smell vision so don't worry about it. Don't be too scared here. It's going to be great. We're going to be talking about <coughs> some uh, some specific details about the feet and how you can work on those things and how how uh, why you do yoga barefoot. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a big one. That's kind of an important one. So mm -hmm. uh, without further ado, Kai, uh, yeah. let's hit it. So guys, your feet. First thing you really need to know about your feet, and it's something that you're probably aware of in an unconscious sense, but they are meant to take all the weight of your body. Like, you're meant to stand on them. It works out well. And like your wrists and your hands, when your foot is on the ground, your ankle is actually meant to rotate and spin around pretty much in almost the exact same way as your wrist. So it's meant to make that nice, smooth, circular rotation here and keep your foot on the ground. So all your weight can be pressed into your foot and this ankle will rotate and you'll find little tiny shifts in your foot. This, this arch here in your foot is actually made to flex pretty well. And then now coming into the yogic standpoint of things, from yogic perspectives, we imagine four different corners on our feet. So there's kind of one under the knuckle of the pinky here, under the mound of the big toe, and then on either side of the heel. And that makes a sort of rectangle that we use for a lot, for all of our standing poses actually, <laughs> when you're imagining. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. When you're imagining, envisioning how to stand in a standing posture, you're always thinking of pressing your weight down into all four of those corners equally. Yeah, just starting your weight, yeah. Mm -hmm. And doing this actually, when you do it barefoot, brings a ton of awareness to your body. And that's for a very specific reason. Um, anatomically, physiologically, there are some things called proprioceptors in your body, and they're often found in your joints. And essentially, these proprioceptors send neural information to your brain about where your body is in space and how it's balancing. And 75 to 80 percent of those proprioceptors in any given person are in your feet and ankles. So we do yoga barefoot in a lot of senses to bring a lot more awareness of ourselves into the practice. When you kind of cover your foot in a sock or, and shoes, <clears throat> A lot of that awareness is kind of toned down and you don't get as much of it. It becomes a habitual thing that you start to cut out essentially. So your mind gets used to it as you know, like habits are kind of how we're formed. But you take those socks off, you take those shoes off, you notice in yoga that this awareness is coming to you in a very strong sense. <clears throat> and it's at the same time, it's a safety thing too um you obviously yeah, true. can hold on to your mat and grip into your mat a lot better with bare feet than you would with uh shoes necessarily and socks will slip and, and, yeah and your your mobility is so much greater without wearing shoes um now i'm i'm not by any means a non-shoe guy i like wearing shoes but <laughs> obviously in a in a yoga situation something like this it's it's just not appropriate so uh don't yeah. do it I guess <laughs> if we can be if we can be blatant about it yeah, yeah like just make sure barefoot. you take off your shoes off or make sure you take your shoes off and uh, enjoy your yoga practice and it, it will deepen it like that is it's a lot of awareness that you may not be aware of right now mm -hmm. yeah but you'll you'll notice it so hope you guys enjoyed that that's uh, it as far as feet are concerned uh, we will see you guys tomorrow we are going to actually be doing a a exercise tomorrow that is going to have a lot a to do with yeah which is going to have a lot to do with uh feet in general so uh we'll be able to directly apply these forward coming uh, at you right away so tomorrow we'll see you guys then uh give somebody a high five and uh subscribe like and share this video comment if you have any questions uh, i know we've been kind of breezing through these but yeah let us know if you have any issues or any questions and we will be sure to address them so until later we will see you guys around Thank you.